What's up? Keegan here at the Kentucky Welding Institute. Last year, Outlaw Leather toured our school. We have changed a couple things since then, so we are gonna go walk around the shop, check out what the students are working on. We're gonna give you guys an inside look at what's going on here at the Kentucky Welding Institute. Let's check it out. All right, so this is the front of our shop. Now, a lot of places, the instructors have their own office. Here at KWI, our instructors don't have a booth or an office they can go hide in. They're out walking around with the students and helping them as they need. So our instructors, you might find them here, you might find them in the booth, you might find them out back welding on a simulator. Our instructors are constantly rotating in off the job. So, for example, a lot of instructors at places, they could be 30 years deep in the industry and haven't welded for several years. Our instructors have several years experience, but they constantly rotate in and out of the industry. So we shuffle our instructors a lot, and that way they can bring in insider tips from the industry to the booth. So let's check out what we got over here. This right here is our bender. This is where we test students' welds. So they will perform a weld, an AWS certification test. We'll grind it, have them prep it, and put it in this bender. And this thing will determine whether they pass or fail. Now students use this as a guideline when they're going into the industry because in the industry you're going to be x-raying welds, you're going to be phasering welds, and this right here simulates that. But the bend test opens up any issues that they may have. So let's just walk down a booth. Alright guys, so we have three rows of booths here. We have 45 booths. So students get their own booth. They're not gonna be sharing a booth with anybody. You get your own booth to weld in for the full six months that you're here at the Kentucky Welding Institute. Another thing, we operate on eight hours a day, but students can choose to weld more if they want to. They can weld 12, they can weld for 16 hours a day because it's go at your own pace. Behind me here is our boiler simulator. This boiler simulator mimics what would it be like to weld in a boiler or a co of a coal-fired power plant or natural gas plant. So we like to put our students in these real world scenarios because people who only weld in a booth have a hard time transitioning to what it's like out in the industry. So as you can see here, we have the water wall simulator. This is the slope mimicking what it would be like in a boiler and students can put their coupons or tubes in this simulator and mimic what it would be like to weld in a boiler. So people who only weld in a booth, whenever they go into the industry, they have a hard time transitioning. Here at KWI, you will be exposed to real world welding and as you go into the industry, it'll be a whole lot easier to transition to field welding. So let's check out what we got over here. Here at the Kentucky Welding Institute, we focus on the four main processes. Stick welding, TIG welding, MIG welding, and flux core welding. Students will start out flux core and MIG and then move over to stick and TIG. Every process that we do starts out on plate and then we move everything over to pipe welding. When you finish KWI, you should be able to weld all the processes on pipe and plate. So let's check out the outside area. So here at the Kentucky Welding Institute, our students cut and prep their own metal. What that does is teaches them, again, how to prep their metal, how to fit it up, and understand that every cut and prep that you make is not gonna be machine perfect. Just like the industry, when you go out into the welding industry, you are not gonna have perfect bevels every time. Yes, you may have an amazing fitter and he will get it perfect, but nine times out of 10, you might have a wavy bevel or something's gonna be off. And that's what's gonna happen here at KWI when you cut and prep your own metal. Your bevels aren't gonna be perfect and that's gonna teach you how to weld with poor fit up or bad bevel cuts, etc. Also, not getting a clean bevel every single time teaches you to respect what you cut and what you prep so that you're not gonna waste anything. You'll cut your own metal, you'll prep your own metal, and you'll weld it just like in the industry. As you can see, we are outside. So we, again, like to put students in real world situations out here in the elements. If it's 20 degrees or if it's 100 degrees, our students are gonna be out here in the pipe rack, in the downhill simulator, using our generator welding machines and cutting and prepping their metal. That just helps them, again, as they transition into the industry because we don't like to have any surprises when they go out into the field. Of course, there will be some things that you may not understand or flow with out in the industry, but we try to eliminate 
all of that here at KWI. All right, guys, here at KWI, one of the biggest things is we certify you to the Codebook and the American Welding Society. So whenever you come test here at KWI, it's just gonna be like a job site. We're gonna put a white piece of paper outside of your booth. This is gonna be your performance qualification checklist. So we're gonna test you just like the test labs down south and just like a company would. So whenever you take your test, if you pass it, it'll get looked at a certified welding inspector, which we have here at KWI. Most of our instructors are CWIs. And they will let you know if your test passes or fails. If your test passes visually, we'll cut it up and put it in the bender and see if it passes. If it does, you will get your AWS certification according to the qualification or the test that you just took. And that's one of the differences here at the Kentucky Welding Institute. We're not just some welders that are teaching you how to weld and giving you a piece of paper that says you can weld. We actually train you to weld and test you and you earn AWS certifications that you can take with you into the industry that proves you can do something. One of the biggest things that we always get here at KWI is people saying that you don't need certifications in the industry. And if you are five to 10 years deep in the industry, you can make a phone call and get on a job. But for your first couple years out in the industry, right out of high school, or if this is your first time welding, those certifications help you to get in the industry because they prove that you can do something. So those HR people or those contractors or those foremen are gonna be like, hey, this guy can do it. It says he can do it. Let's go ahead and test him. So you will have to test even if you have AWS certifications, but these help you get your foot in the door. And that's what we're doing here at the Kentucky Welding Institute, helping welders start with no experience. In six months, they are able to go out into the industry and take weld tests for companies because they proved that they can do it here and it shows that they know how to do it. All right, guys, this is the basics of the Kentucky Welding Institute. First, we start you out plate welding. Once you get your one inch flux core certification and once you get your stick welding one inch certification, we move you to TIG welding on plate. And then once you pass your TIG welding certification on plate, we move you to six inch pipe and then two inch pipe. Now, the cool thing about KWI, we are self-paced, so you don't have to wait on nobody. You don't move with the group. We have start dates every two weeks, and you go at your own speed. If you finish our main six certifications and curriculum in under six months, which is 24 weeks, we allow you to certify and train on a long list of other metals and materials. So like ink and L, chrome, copper nickel, super duplex, branch and bell hold downhill welding, Hastelloy and Monel, just to name a few of them. And that's what appealed to me when I came to the Kentucky Welding Institute was I didn't want to wait on nobody, but I wanted to get as many certifications and training on different metals and materials as possible. So if you come to the Kentucky Welding Institute, don't worry about anybody holding you back. If you have got the drive and the will to learn as much as you can in six months, there is a whole lot open to you here. So here at the Kentucky Welding Institute, you're gonna have the ability to weld on all kinds of metals and alloys, get AWS certifications with those metals and alloys as well. Also here at the Kentucky Welding Institute, we offer training and industry certifications that apply to other things besides welding. So rigging, lifting, we do NCCER, we do NCCCO, we do ASHI CPR first aid, basic plus, quick card, just to name a few. So we're gonna teach you how to weld and get you certifications. We're gonna teach you about other industry training and what it means to be more than just your typical weld. Also here at KWI, you can weld for as long as you want. Eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, 16 hours a day. And last but not least, the other big thing about the Kentucky Welding Institute is you get to go at your own speed. So you don't have to wait on nobody. You can graduate early if you finish the core curriculum in under six months. So go at your own speed, get AWS certifications, and also get other industry training as well here at the Kentucky Welding Institute. Thanks and see you on the next one.